Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to Liz Does Cocktails. I'm Liz, this is my friend Harisi. Hi. And let's get to doing. So I met Harisi in our acting class maybe like seven years ago. It was a really long time ago. And um, I'll let Harisi talk about it, but she's done really cool stuff out here in LA. She's danced for the Clippers, she's done commercials, she does TV and film, and yeah, Harisi, she take it away. She much cooler than <laughs> I would have. Um, I'm an associate producer, as well as actress. I danced for Kanye, for Rihanna. What? I've been on American Horror Stories, and what? a couple of other things, so I am super excited though to be here with you today. Yay! I'm so happy, thank you for joining me. And let's get to cocktail making. So today we are making a blackberry mango vodka cooler. Perfect for summertime or springtime like right now. But it's really good for summertime. This is super easy to make. All you need is vodka, some blackberries, mint, ice, and a mango simple syrup that I will tell you guys how to make. Yes, I'm excited about the mint. I like, I love drinks with herbs in them. So good. Also for drinks when you're using mint or anything, you're gonna wanna use like the younger, smaller flowers just because as they get older and they get bigger, they tend to get like a little more bitter. So whenever you're making drinks, just make sure that you use a smaller, smaller leaves. Not like this. More like this. Ah! All right. All right, all right, all right, cocktail time. To make this mango simple syrup, you're going to place your mangoes inside either a food processor or you can muddle them, but a food processor or a blender is so much easier if you have one. Ooh, girl, I can't just buy, <laughs> buy some mango, just, mm, it's just not gonna be. I don't know if it's just gonna be the same. Okay. You're gonna wanna bring water and sugar to a boil. And you're gonna to wanna to boil that until all the sugar is dissolved. Add in your some mint leaves and um, the mango puree into that pot of sugar water. After it's cooled down, because you don't wanna do this while it's hot, you're going to wanna to strain, um, just strain it straight out of the pot. Just strain that mixture. And you're left with this. Um, this can last in your fridge for up to two weeks in an airtight Smell. container. Yeah, get those oh gosh, aromas up there. So good. All right, so let's let's make this drink. Okay. It's really easy. You want to take your vodka. You want to do one to two ounces, depending on how strong you want it. Well, I mean, I'm a two ounce girl, but we'll see. I didn't come to play around, so. I mean, shit, Harisi might be like a two and a half, three ouncer. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> After that, you're gonna want to take a little bit of um, your mango puree. Okay important and you can adjust this depending on how sweet or how bitter you want your drink totally fine okay. and then you want to add some ice club soda and blackberries okay. I could describe with my hands. yeah totally mm -hmm. I'll do some blackberries some mint Ooh. smells really great yes okay. And then you're gonna just wanna to top it off with some club soda. Oh, after your blackberries, sorry. Now, do I have to do the club soda? I mean, if you got it like that, then you don't have to add the club soda, but you can if you want. Oh, but you know, you're, you're a mixologist, so let me just go for it. Cheers. Cheers. So good. I really like this. Like I like that it's like smooth. Yes, it's subtle. It's not too crazy this sweet. This is the perfect actually brunch drink. This is brunch on fire. Yes. Right yes. Okay, maybe yeah. we should change the name to brunch on fire. I think so. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in today with us. If you liked this drink, if you tried it, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can make sure you see when my videos are coming out. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.